My name is Helena Tadkenhorst. I'm from Maine in the United States, and I'm doing an MSc in Coastal Marine Environments. I was looking um, primarily at geographic information systems and climate change and kind of the mixes between the two. I was really interested in um, like getting experience, doing field work, but at the same time understanding where this actually fits in the political world, in the geographic world. So I read through the biographies of all of my faculty and every single one of them is doing work somehow related to climate change and every single one of them was doing work that was interesting to me. If I knew I was interested in what all the professors were doing, I knew I would enjoy the classes that they taught. I don't know exactly what I want to do in the future, but I know this is kind of the world I want to be in. So I want to be in the working in climate change, um, but using the skills that I can gain from this course, such as doing field work. We spent a week out on the Celtic Voyager, uh, which was uh, out in the north of Ireland. We were out in uh, Donegal Bay. We were collecting samples from the bottom of the bay, of ocean sediments, um, and I'd never done anything like that. It was really fun to get that practical experience and then turn it into this kind of professional um, ocean report um, or cruise report by the end of the semester based on the experience I had. I am doing my thesis on mapping seaweed distribution out on Inish Moor, which is the largest of the three Aran Islands out in, and pretty far out in Galway Bay. So I've already gone out once. I spent three days in November going out. I met the seaweed harvesters who do this, these traditional seaweed harvesting methods on the island. And then we also did a drone survey. So I'm going to be comparing what I can see very close up to what you can see with the drone surveys and hopefully coming up with a methodology to map these areas in the future. Um, Ireland recently passed the Marine Area Planning Bill, which is now the Marine Area Planning Act. Uh, and so there's going to be a lot of changes moving forward with how are you going to give licenses to harvesters? So how are you going to check how much they're harvesting? Uh, so there's a lot of collaboration as well with locals, which is one of my favorite parts is just understanding why what I'm doing is important and using their knowledge as well and not just taking these measurements and saying this is the final product. I love living in Ireland. Everyone is very friendly. I especially noticed this when I went home for Christmas and I got off the plane in Boston and I, um, I was waiting for the bus and I tried to start chatting with the people around me and nobody would talk to me and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. And I realized it was that I got so used to being in Ireland and just being able to strike up a conversation with anyone around you. Um, and I really missed that when I was gone for just a couple weeks. Um, and another thing I really liked about Ireland is I've been able to join a lot of the societies and clubs at NUIG. So I have gone hiking with the mountaineering club and I'm hoping to go kayaking. I joined the Trad Society and so I've gotten to list everyone, play the fiddle and the other instruments that I don't know how to play. Um, I've taken Irish dance classes through the Dance Society. I knit this sweater. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs>